I know what you're thinking. Yeah, Joshua, we've seen that before. No, you haven't. This stuff is spruce. The real deal. Sorry it's taking me so long to post a video. Um, anyways, uh, a lot has happened since I last posted a video. Um, I quit my job. I went on vacation. Start, uh, quit my job at the charter company. Got back. Finished a week there. Um, and then was started a new job as a flight instructor at a, at a flying club. And the last two months have been crazy busy doing that. Um, most of the time I'm up at 5 o'clock in the morning heading to the airport and don't get back until like 5 in the afternoon or even later. So that's probably why I haven't had a whole lot of time to do this. But today I got off around uh, 1, so came home, kind of chilled out a little bit. And then this evening I uh, started cutting stuff out and decided, you know what, it's time to quit fussing around with pine and do the real deal with uh, spruce. So it's, uh, yeah, I cut it all out. I got all the, this whole stack right here yeah. is, uh, is all the pieces I'll need. To build the uh, build the elevator, so I got my uh, got my main beam there. Got my two uh, I don't know what they call these. I call them T stock. Got two of those. Got uh, got the trailing edge there. And then got uh, let's see one two three looks like six pieces of cap strip. Um. Anyways, and that all came off of one. Uh, one of the sheets I got my, or one of the pieces of wood I got in my bargain box. So, um, anyways, now I'm gonna get some, gotta go get some, uh, gotta get some clamps and maybe some blocks. Eh, I don't need blocks. The blocks I got are I'm fine. Um, we'll clamp it up, glue it up, and uh, actually we'll have to do a trial fit on it, kind of narrow down some of the, uh, some of the T-stock to fit um, up next to the, the trailing edge um, so we got to figure that out but then uh, once I get that figured out um, should be good to good to start putting it up and gluing it together so uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes <laughs> 